G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews in the middle of the great lockdown. Now, uh, I wanted to go over, I've been flying a few quads and I wanted to show you the quads I've been flying while I've been locked down, unable to leave the property and just trying to have some fun. Now, if you're watching my extra channel, you'll have seen that I have been flying quads and the one I've been flying the most is this one. This is the quad that just, it's been my go-to quad while I've been locked down here. This is the uh, GIP RC Cinequeen 4K and I've reviewed this. There'll be links to the reviews on these products in the description of this video so you can go and look at them. I've already done video reviews. I'm going to give you a follow-up in this video just let you know what I think after after two weeks of being locked down with these quads because I've been flying them a lot and I've noticed some some really interesting stuff. Now this as I say is the GEP RC Cinequeen. Most of the videos, aerial videos I've put up on the XJet channel have come from this quad and I really, really like it. I liked it in the review. I said it was a really good Cinequad and my opinion hasn't changed. It's actually got stronger. Um, I did notice one thing, one little negative. I did one flight and for some reason the little Tarsia camera, the Cadex Tarsia, went a bit haywire um, on the HD record, on the yeah, HD recording and I got Basically, it was posterized the image. Everything was, there was no detail, it was just colors, and it looked really, really strange. I, I'll show you a little bit of that footage here. It was low light footage, and I'm really at a loss to understand why it looks as bad as it does. Other footage has been fine, although this camera really does prefer to have the high light levels. It's a small sensor, it's a small camera, small lens. You really need decent light levels for this thing to perform well. But out there in the full sunlight, I mean, look at this. This is not too bad. Another thing I've noticed with this though, is that if you use 16.9 for the HD camera, the recording camera, the main FPV camera in 4.3, you can't rely on what you see in the goggles to be what you're recording because it's, it's got a lot of extra vertical content. So I've been flying a lot in the 4.3 um, 1440p mode because then what I see in my goggles is an exact replica of what I see on the recorded image. Otherwise you tend to lose bits. You, bits disappear below the bottom of the of the crop section and it's very hard to frame stuff up. So I've gone to 1440p which is 1080p wide. Now what is it? It's, it's, sorry it's 1920. No it's oh, I can't remember. Uh, 1440 what? Oh, anyway <laughs> you can look it up yourselves but basically it makes it easier to edit the footage later. So that's what I've been doing in that respect and uh, it means you don't get a sharper image but you do get lot more framing options. So that's what I've been doing at, at 60 frames a second and it's just it's it's wonderful. Uh, it works really well and range is excellent. I flew right over the other side of the lake um, and it never you know no RSSI warnings or anything and the video has been solid. The little antenna here works really well. Um, I've got no hesitation flying this in what I'd call high risk areas which is like over the lake. I used to be a little bit concerned about flying over the lake so I have no hesitation flying this where if I had a problem it would disappear into the water I'd never see it again which would be a shame because I really really like it so that's my number one it's my go-to quad it's nice and quiet it's light it's very light look at the review for the exact weight and on a with a four what is it, a four cell 650 milliamp battery I'm getting reliably six or seven minutes of slow cinematic flight which is great no jello on this either that's another big bonus now the other quad I've been using quite extensively is this. This is the uh, Transtech Beetle Hom. Now this has got the DJI digital system in it. I thought I would use this a little more than I have. But the problem with this one is it's got a bit of jello, this particular unit. I can't see why none of the props are damaged. The motor motors don't have sloppy bearings. So who knows? But it does have a little bit of jello which kind of ruins the footage. But the actual flight itself is, is great because you've got the full DJI HD digital system and you just feel so much more in control because you can see everything all around you you can see with such precision and detail this is a lot of fun to fly but I haven't done I've done and also with the, with the full uh, the full digital system the range is, is really really good I mean I could probably fly this out to three or four K if I wanted to I'm getting around about again five to six minutes of flight time with a three cell 850 battery on this which is more than enough for what I'm doing so yeah, this is kind of nice for doing exploratory flights. Uh, remember, I can't really leave my property. If this thing, if, if I crash a quad miles from home, I've lost it. So you have to be totally confident. And this has given me um, good confidence. I've been flying this reasonable distances. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with this quad. It works really well. I've got another frame with another set of motors. I'll set that up after the lockdown's over because I'd like to have this experience without the jello. If I get it without the jello, I will be totally stoked. But it is, it's a nice agile little quad and it's it's reliable and it's it, it does what it's supposed to do. So yeah, this is my other 
favorite quad. And the one, of course, I've been flying when all else fails is the Mobula 6, the little tiny Woot Mobula 6. Fly it indoors, fly it outdoors, fly it in the garden. You know, it's just, um, it's fantastic. It's really, really fast too, actually too fast. It's too fast for me to fly inside a lot of the time. I haven't bothered setting up angle mode on this. It's all rate mode and trust me, it's a real handful to fly down a narrow hall in rate mode at the speed this thing goes. But in the garden, it's just brilliant. This is the one with the higher KV motors. 25,000 kV so yeah they sent me this instead of the 1900 I think I would have been better off with the 19,000 was it 19,000 kV be a little bit more sedate this is just you know I'm an old guy I don't have reflexes of, of lightning so this sometimes challenges me but hey the, the rewards equal to the challenge so there you go those are the those are the quads that I have been flying and I'm glad I bought them home I do have a five inch quad as well I have my MXP 230 the mud quad that I buried in the lake bed out there when all well, the lake was drained and I've cleaned it out a bit, but I haven't cleaned it enough yet to reliably fly. And there really there's not that much scope for flying a proper five inch freestyle quad out here at the moment because for a start it's a little bit more dangerous, it's more it's heavier. I mean these are all light. This is this is sub 250, the Cine Queen is sub 250, and of course the Mobula is I don't know what it is, it's like 20 something grams. Amazingly light. So they're all super super light if something you know goes wrong and you know, the bang into the house not going to break anything five inch racing quad freestyle quad bit of a different story and of course these also have all have shrouded props they all have prop guards so that you know i can fly these around and if i you know touch something it doesn't fall out of the sky and i don't risk if i fly into myself i don't risk cutting myself so they're all bonus points extra features that are really useful when you're flying in confined environments so that's it yeah as i say links to the reviews i've done on all three quads are in the description of this video and as i say if, if you're going to have to buy one if you had to buy one of these quads i'd, I'd go with this it's just such a fantastic little quad it's i love it i can just get you know i'll leave you with some of the footage i've been taking using this quad and i think you'll agree with me that it really has um proven its worth in these conditions so there you go it's, it's, the weather's packing up now we're going to get a big storm it's supposed to have 70 kilometer an hour winds and an inch an hour of rain tonight so fingers crossed that the roof doesn't leak and uh, yeah so as i say questions comments to the commenty bit and stay tuned because i am doing more videos on xjet which are my um, sort of archive footage, just funny stuff, and I'm going to do a special jet video, some of the most impressive jets we've ever had at the airfield. So yeah, go and watch that as well. And in the meantime, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks for watching. And I do have most of the bits of the the um, the, the sub 250 Outlaw 250 build video on the computer. I may just put them up without. I'll fill in the missing bits later because I know a lot of people want to actually get started on that project. And what else have I got to do? There you go. Thanks for watching, folks. See you soon. Bye for now.